मानव होली है वाइल होली इज द फेस्टिवल ऑफ कलर्स द फेस्टिवल ऑफ स्प्रिंग विक्ट्री ऑफ गुड ओवर ईवल इट ऑल्सो सिग्निफाइज एंड सेलिब्रेट्स फॉर गुडनेस द फ्रेज इज लाइक द ट्रू एसेंस ऑफ होली so today's episode is focused on forgiveness and how it's an important practice in a parent child relationship this is shikha tiwari and welcome to another episode at urine bot it's that time of the year again it's holy the festival of forgetting and forgiving but you know what that reminds me of as a parent we get to practice the art of forgiveness Mm, let's say a million times a day in our hearts of hearts i know we have always forgiven our children and will continue to forgive them i mean who holds a grudge against their own child right but it's not just that it's how you communicate to them after they have messed up is important for instance i will share a very small incident One afternoon my little one was playing with her device and by mistake she dropped it behind the couch Of course she was scared and felt sorry and she came crying to me mama i am sorry i dropped the phone In my head i am of course thinking oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i hope nothing is broken because i don't know how expensive this mistake would be But Since she's already pretty shaken up and seems sorry, I tried to control my anxiety and respond from a place of understanding, empathy and care. You see when we mess up, we all know, even little children, that we have messed up. All of us, including little children, first want to be understood why something like that happened. and then go on to the life lesson the learning moment can be the second thing on the list but first you have to respond to that injured broken scared soul that needs healing first and then the learning moment trust me if you do it the reverse the learning will not stay and we will do another episode on this why but for now let's focus on this so anyhow so you know i hugged her and wiped her tears and comforted her and then we went to the site where the accident happened and we claimed the device thankfully it was all fine nothing was broken nothing was crashed and you know i'm sure you all know what a relief that was imagine if i would have yelled i would have felt so stupid right now and my child would have been thinking see i told you nothing was really wrong you were yelling at me for the heck of it now all this is not to say that don't ch- teach your children right from wrong it's only to say that don't dampen your their spirit in trying to teach it's very important this entire piece you know how you respond just after they have messed up is very important so that you can build up their courage to own up to their mistakes so that they can be honest with you and with themselves later on and also build up the resilience to pick themselves up after they've messed up trust me however good and fantastic a parent you are your children will mess up and all the time they will not come crying to you I mean, hope so once they have grown up they would have probably built up the skills to handle it on their own and this is where you sow those seeds so that once they mess up they're not looking for who to blame they're just picking themselves up standing up straight owning up to their mistake and take a deep breath and say okay i messed up let me clean up that's all you need to do in any kind of a mess up so are you nurturing them in a way that they will be able to pick themselves up or you're nurturing them in a way that they will find someone to blame 
So this holy, go forgive everyone you need to. And if you're a parent, forgive every day. Happy holy, everyone.